All right, welcome back. Let's do a recap here for uh, this Thursday, 2nd of November. What a choppy day. Um, and a lot of waiting going on today. Really surprised. Thursday is typically my best day. Really surprised with the action. And um, you're going to see it here in just a minute. But uh, look at a little chopped up. Starting off with uh, the Russell. So we had a nice little sell selling pattern going on on the mini Russell. I held on to this trade forever and it finally hit my stop over here exiting uh, at a little past one and then about uh, right before two o'clock ended up getting an HF1 buy. Once again, these are just uh, two patterns out of the four that I'm looking at. So pretty s simplistic process. Um, and I did have a target up here. So finally hit my target. Wasn't enough, though, to cover my loss. I didn't really. I should have put on maybe more, but hindsight's always twenty twenty. But, uh, so, anyway, the net-net is, uh, I did minimize some of this loss here, but I still ended up taking a, a little loss on the Russell. Let's take a look at the, the only thing I took was a crude and the gold. Gold I'm still in. I've been short since this morning and i'm carrying that into friday so i am short the gold we'll look and see how that does tomorrow obviously i will be getting out no matter what tomorrow so we'll look at that but the only other uh, trade that I closed out was crude let's take a look at crude oil all right so a lot of activity in crude so see if you can follow along here because it's quite a few trades so it started off here as you can see here this was um right before nine o'clock uh, i did come in with a short hf an HF short, HF1 short um, on the crew. Did hit target like almost right at the bottom. So just a really nice trade there. Um, and then I ended up turning around and getting a buy. So um, a little past the opening of uh, the Dow. This came in around 940. I ended up getting an HF3 buy on the crew. So I ended up buying the HF3 and exited and had a nice little trade in that. So two in a row, really nice. Then I ended up, <laughs> and I really should have stopped at the first couple of trades. I really don't like to keep trading in the morning, but I did. Um, everything was just kind of slow. So I went ahead and I took this down here. This was an HF3 short. So I took the HF3 short. This one did reverse. Uh, let's see here. This one did reverse, and I ended up getting out about, uh, what, 30 minutes later. But then I turned around getting an HF1 buy, all right, about 10 minutes later, which one of my favorite patterns. And I was able to... Uh, squeeze enough out of it to actually come out ahead on overall so uh, managing my size today probably wasn't the best probably could have done a little better than that but you know it is what it is so overall for the day uh minus 153 so like yeah so overall um not a great day i mean um <clears throat> i wish i would have managed my size a little bit better uh, so once again, only thing I have going in to tomorrow Friday is short the gold. And uh, I won't initiate any new positions on gold. So I'll just either take my profit, take my loss, or get out uh, at the end of the day. It's still not going anywhere. I'll just go ahead and, and get out of it. I am coming in red on the gold. That's about it. So uh, we'll see tomorrow. We have non-farm payrolls coming up tomorrow. So maybe that's why things were so choppy today. So that's usually a big report. So we'll see how that goes in the morning. Once again, I mean, if it's really choppy, I'll just stand aside and wait and see what happens. So anyhow, uh, that's going to be it. Hopefully we'll see everybody tomorrow. If you have any questions, you can reach me via my website, InnovativeTradingStrategies.com. Check out all my videos on my YouTube channel, Innovative Trading Strategies. And uh, I do go into a little bit more depth of not only my patterns but also something called Einstein and the way that it pro projects these um, these profit targets which are the green um, horizontal lines you see on the charts all right 
That's it. Everybody have a good night. Yeah, so overall, um, not a great day. I mean, um, <clears throat> I wish I would have managed my size a little bit better. Uh, so once again, only thing I have going in to tomorrow Friday is short the gold. And uh, I won't initiate any new positions on gold. So I'll just either take my profit, take my loss, or get out there. Uh, at the end of the day, it's still not going anywhere. I'll just go ahead and, and get out of it. I am coming in red on the gold. That's about it. So uh, we'll see tomorrow. We have non-farm payrolls coming up tomorrow. So maybe that's why things were so choppy today. So that's usually a big report. So we'll see how that goes in the morning. Once again, I mean, if it's really choppy, I'll just stand aside and wait and see what happens. So anyhow, uh, that's going to be it. Hopefully we'll see everybody tomorrow. If you have any questions, you can reach me via my website, InnovativeTradingStrategies.com. Check out all my videos on my YouTube channel, Innovative Trading Strategies. And uh, I do go into a little bit more depth of not only my patterns, but also something I call Einstein and the way that it pro projects these, um, these profit targets, which are the green um, horizontal lines you see on the charts. All right, that's it. Everybody have a good night.